Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word provides you with a feature that both identifies and corrects misspelled words, and this tool is called the Spelling and Grammar Checker. As its name implies, it identifies and corrects both spelling and grammar errors in your document, and it's enabled by default when you begin the Word program. Now, the nature of the Spelling and Grammar tool is twofold. First, it's going to identify words and phrases that you type that it thinks are misspelled by comparing the words that you type to an internal dictionary that comes with Word. So as you type, you may notice a red wavy line appears underneath some words in your document. These are the words that Word thinks are misspelled. You may also see a green wavy line appear underneath some phrases in your document. In this case, Word has identified passages that it believes aren't quite grammatically correct. These wavy lines do not print, however. Now, the second function allows you to invoke the Spelling and Grammar dialog box, which will then step through your document from your insertion point through the rest of the document, identifying misspelled words and grammatically incorrect phrases. Word then displays the errors in a dialog box with a selection of words that it thinks you meant to type. You can select a word and then change it. So let's take a look at how we can use this. First off, click at the top of the document. You always want to start from the top since the spelling checker checks from the insertion point down. You can use Control Home on your keyboard to make sure you're at the very top of your document. Once again, one of those handy keyboard shortcuts. At that point, you can either click the Spelling and Grammar button on the standard toolbar or choose Tools, Spelling and Grammar from the menu bar. Note the keyboard shortcut is F7. When you select one of those buttons or commands, this brings up the Spelling and Grammar dialog box. And what it first displays are words that are not in its dictionary. So here, the word in red is the word that it doesn't recognize. In the suggestions box, it has words that it thinks you might have meant to actually type. To change a word, you can simply highlight it in the suggestions box by clicking it and then to the right you can click change to change this instance of this word to the one highlighted in the suggestion box. If you constantly typed the word, let's say we typed T-I-P-I-N-G every single place we meant to type T-Y-P-I-N-G, then you could simply click change all to change all occurrences of this spelling throughout the document to the selected word. So either change or change all. Here we can see a grammar rule being broken, and we can tell because it says that it's subject-verb agreement and also the word is in green. So here we can select the suggestion and then just click Change to the right. Notice sometimes the words that it shows as being misspelled will not appear in the suggestions box. In that case, you can click into the actual Not in Dictionary box and edit it by hand. When it looks correct, just click Change. Also, if the word is something like this letter B here, where you simply forgot to put in the E, it doesn't necessarily notice that that is a misspelling. Now some words might be spelled correctly, such as proper names and technical terms. You can select to ignore a word by simply clicking the Ignore Once button to ignore the single instance of that, or Ignore All to ignore all instances of that word used within the document. If it's something that's truly spelled correctly, like say your last name, and Word thinks that it's not spelled correctly, you may click Add to Dictionary to add the highlighted word to the word's internal dictionary so that it would never 
actually identify it as being misspelled on any of your documents on that machine again. Also, the spell checker will take care of things like repeated words. Notice that we don't change this, our command is delete now. Now when you're finished, it tells you the spelling and grammar check is complete, and just click OK on that. And notice that the spelling and grammar tool is not perfect. Several words are incorrectly used, such as take car and not forget to water the dogs. That has already been spell checked. It still doesn't make any sense. So this is just a tool to assist you in editing and proofreading your documents. It is not a substitute for your own editing skills. It always pays to manually proofread your documents. Do not rely on Word's spelling and grammar tool exclusively. It will not correct everything as it should appear. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.